All right, so hey, it's Friday. Uh, what is it? 7:38. Uh, pretty slow day today. We only have one drop off, which is technically tomorrow. But uh, me personally, I don't like picking up or dropping off on a weekend. Uh, we are open on Saturdays. If I if I could, I would like to drop them off on Fridays. So that's what we're doing. So it's Friday morning. Slow, slow, and more slow. I don't understand. The first three weeks were killer, and then the last week is a, a dud, pretty much. And that's what I've been seeing. So either the first week of the month is a dud, too, and then it's, you know, killer rentals for the next, you know, two and a half, three weeks, or vice versa. I've yet to have, you know, four consecutive straight weeks of killer rental periods. So... I don't understand. So we'll have to look back on some marketing with that. But right now, it looks like a gated community, which sometimes is, can be a little irritating um, because homeowners don't like to put their gate codes inside the the booking at, uh, comments. So either we have to wait at the gate and call them, or we have to just wait. Sometimes when we're at the gate, somebody else opens it up for us, which I understand the security aspect of it. I'm not, you know, bitching about that, but most of them have, uh, you know, cameras that do the license plate. So if for some odd reason, something went missing in that community, they can just look back and see who is, you know, who came and gone that, within that, you know, time frame. So... I personally, on a business aspect, I hate gated communities. They are super annoying and inconvenience because, you know, as a business owner, we're trying to get in and out, in and out, and stuff like that. And it's just when you don't have a code, man, it's quite annoying. But on a personal note, gated communities, I mean, those are great for real. So this is looking like a gated community. Hopefully, hopefully this person, maybe not, I'd be surprised, just the way this community is, ah uh, yeah, this looks like just probably just the main road and then uh, when we turn right, it's going to be a gated community. Why is a bus stopped right there? It's not even loading kids on a bus. It's just stopped in the middle of the road. That's annoying. Quite annoying as well. Buses, they just think they can stop wherever they want. And it's they are just have hazards on them. Not even... Uh, let's see. 19.515. So it looks like it's this one. 19.515. But we are going to go in the cul-de-sac and turn around. So, this one should be pretty easy. We already told the customer, hey, you know, we usually don't drop drop off or pick up on Saturdays. If you if it's fine, we're not going to charge you anything extra. We'll just be dropping it off a little bit early. So he rented it one day. He's getting you know two and a half, three days with it. Me, I don't care because. One, it helps a customer and thinking you got a great deal. And two, you know, I don't like, well, I, if I if I can help it, I ain't working a weekend. I ain't doing it. So, let's, uh, let's back this up because this is going to be, and we're on cul sac too, so if a vehicle needs to get in, <laughs> we can't block the road too much.
see where we're at with that. I think we're going to be pretty good. That's crazy. holder. The best thing I ever made. about these American ones is they get stuck too easy they really do They want it as close as you could get it. So this is probably around as close as we can get it. Two. in there and we're good that's pretty golden they say they want it as close as they can 
the Adams close to it. I could probably turn it more this way, but I'm good. It'll make for an easy pickup. For sure. Take a picture before and after and inside the dumpster to uh, post a picture or to post online. Marketing, marketing, marketing. If you're not delivering dumpsters, you, you better be marketing. All we do. Alright, 